Welcome back everybody, this is TEW 2020 and it's the Invasion Angle. We are now on week 3 of July 2001 and it's time for Nitro. I've got to be completely honest with you right now, seeing as we are really close to pulling the trigger on the story of the Invasion, I'm not actually putting too much effort into Nitro at the moment. I mean, before, I mean, results were really poor, scores were really low and I, it was really getting me down actually, so I thought... Just go through the motions, just do what we've got to do. We're going to bring forward the actual storyline. So maybe I'll get a bit more enjoyment out of it. Maybe you'll get a bit more enjoyment out of it. And we can actually start telling a proper story of the invasion. So, yeah, um, I'm just kind of going through the motions now. There's still storylines, there's still stuff going on, but I'm just not pre-planning as much for Nitro. I mean, for Raw, I was a good two months ahead in some storylines. Nitro, I'm literally nothing. I'm, I'm not ahead at all. I am, I am, you know, booking as and when Nitro appears. So we kick off now anyway. Let's get going. Uh, Leviathan taking on Rick Steiner. Non-existent crowd heat and terrible wrestling, but it's Leviathan that gets the win in 9 minutes 52 by pinfall with a sit-out powerbomb. Literally just a match here to get, to get Leviathan over. Shane Helms and Shane McMahon and Mick Foley are all in an office chatting together. You may remember the last Nitro. Was it last Nitro? No, it was, it was actually Raw, wasn't it? I, I kind of messed up, and I meant to use Shane McMahon, and I used Shane Helms by accident. So we said we'd weave it in a little bit, and we had sort of Shane McMahon ask Shane Helms to do his dirty work and call Mc, uh, Vince McMahon and tell him that the, the whole fiasco with the US Championship belt you know, won't go unnoticed. So, yeah, Shane Helms is kind of there as well, involved in this in this meeting, and they're just going to discuss, you know, what's happening what they're going to do they don't they don't really have a plan yet and then Mick Foley has an idea and says, oh, I've got an idea guys but well, that's the course when the camera cuts because we want to keep that as a surprise rating of 58 Buff Bagwell takes on Sting this was just to get Sting on the card and he got the win in 7 minutes 20 with the Scorpion Deathlock forcing Buff Bagwell to submit rating of 59 Gino Cullen interviews Rick Flair and he cuts a promo on Sting these two guys are feuding at the moment no other reason than that, just to advance the storyline. It did gain heat, getting an overall rating of 64. Uh, Jindrak and Stasiak take on Damien Steele and Lash LaRue. This was just to get a tag team match on the card, and in about that terrible wrestling and non-existent crowd heat, Jindrak and Stasiak defeated Damien Steele and Lash LaRue in 8 minutes 4 seconds when Mark Jindrak pinned Damien Steele with a mark of excellence. So Mark Jindrak was also head and shoulders above everyone else, overall rating of 46. Dustin Rhodes in a pre-match promo on Canyon. Nothing more to it than this, really. It's just a pre-match pre promo, overall rating of 44. In the match itself, we get a 46 rating. Decent reaction from the crowd and terrible wrestling again. Why are they all terrible wrestlers? I don't get it. They're not. I mean, I, I can't speak much for Canyon, but Dustin Rhodes, not terrible. But it gets a 46 overall, and Rhodes gets the win in 13 minutes 34 by a pinfall with a bulldog. Post-match, Diamond Dallas Page in a failed attack on Rhodes. So Dusty, uh, Diamond Dallas Page came in to attack Dustin Rhodes and beat him down, but Dustin Rhodes got the better of him and forced him to kind of retreat. Overall rating of 49. In a 64 rated angle, RVD cuts a pre-match promo on Kevin Nash. Yet we've got RVD and Kevin Nash coming up. 53, yeah, can't complain too much. In a bout that had good heat and decent wrestling, Rob Van Dam defeated Kevin Nash in 10 minutes, 2 seconds by count out. Kevin Nash didn't like doing the job. I kept him strong. I can't remember. I may have also had to protect him, probably. But yeah, so RVD, hopefully he's got a bit of pop from this one. Overall rating of 53. Post-match, Booker T comes out and cuts a promo on RVD. He says, don't think that this win gets you another shot at the belt. You've had your chance. Just because you go and beat you know, a legend in the business doesn't mean you're getting another shot at this belt. Overall rating of 61. For the show, then, it's a 51. Oh, this is why I really want to hurry up and get the two rosters combined. I think when we do combine them, we'll probably just scrap Nitro. I'm kind of struggling doing two shows a week as it is. I, struggling is the wrong word. I'm just used to doing one TV show a week. So that's kind of where I want to be. It'll probably just be a case of everyone will just move over to Raw. We'll see. We'll, I, I don't know yet. 
but overall rating 51 for this show. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Drop me any comments. What should I be doing? Do you have different ideas? Should I be keeping Nitro going for a little bit longer? I mean, the ratings are really bad. I just, realistically, WWF just wouldn't do it. They just wouldn't have kept the show going. But let me know what you think. And I'll see you all again soon. Take care. Goodbye.